Hi there, Jenny from So Confident in Glasgow here and there are a couple of people asking me for a video showing you how to thread uh, the Elna 340. So here it is, here is the, the machines I use in all my classes, they're great, really strong motors will go through all kinds of fabric. So first thing you need is a big bobbin full of thread and a wee clear bobbin. We're going to be transferring thread from the big bobbin onto this little clear one here. So the, the beauty of the Elna Explore 340 is they've got diagrams, numbers, arrows, absolutely all over them. So they are really user friendly, which is good. They're a nice machine to have if you're a beginner, uh, because you're, they're quite a good price point at 229 and you're not really going to outgrow them. You know, Unless you move into quilting and you need more kind of embroidery stitches, this machine will last you probably 10 years. Right, so first thing you're doing up to the top of the machine here, you're going to take this little bit off of the spindle and pop your big thread onto the spindle here. doesn't matter what direction your thread is coming off the bobbin. I think perhaps that is a, an older machine, perhaps an old singer uh, thing where you had to have your thread coming off in a certain direction. With this machine and certainly with any modern machines I've ever used, it's not an issue at all. We're going to be looking at, there's a diagram on the top here which I will just show you. So this is the diagram that we're looking at. Again, this is what I'm t talking about with the user-friendly thing. If you get lost, if you get stuck, there's generally a picture or an arrow or something on there to help you out. So this is the diagram that we're looking at. You're going to take your thread and wrap it round this little metal bit. Now you want to have it, this metal bit is, it regulates the tension uh, as we wind it onto our little clear bobbin. So it's quite an important part of the machine this because if your tension is wrong on your bottom bobbin then your machine is just not going to sew, it's going to chew everything up. So you want to pull your thread, both ends of your thread here like that until your thread is right underneath this little disc here. You can see that, there we go. Once your thread is under there, if you pull the raw, the, the end of the thread here, you will feel a bit of tension. And that's what you want. So now you're taking the end of the thread and you're going to be threading it through one of these little holes. So there's a wee tiny tiny hole here. Through this wee hole from the inside of the bobbin to the outside. A wee bit fiddly. If you're struggling with this just use wee scissors to snip the end of your thread and that will make life a bit easier. So there we go, thread through the wee clear bobbin, the wee hole there. Then you're taking this bobbin and you're going over to, there's a metal spindle at, this, at the top here. Bobbin your bobbin onto that spindle with your thread coming out the top like a little handle. What this is going to be doing for us is it means that we get purchase immediately. So there's another way of thread winding your bobbin where you don't put it through the wee hole. You just wrap it around a couple of times, put it in your bobbin winder mode, wind your bobbin. But what I find happens is... Because this is a little clear plastic shiny thing, the thread doesn't always kind of stick to it. So sometimes the bobbin spins and the thread doesn't go anywhere. So with this way, it works first time, which is what I prefer. So to get it into uh, bobbin winding mode, you want to move the whole spindle at the top here towards the, the power cable end of the machine. I'm just going to move this on so you can see what I'm doing. So at the moment, if I was to turn the machine on and pop my foot in the pedal, it would wind the bobbin absolutely perfectly. But I have to take into consideration that the the needle is going to be going mad. So if I pop my foot in the pedal, it wind the bobbin no bother, that needle is going to be going mad. This machine is really quite a powerful machine. You don't want that needle moving if you're not paying attention to it, basically. So we want to disable our needle. This is another function that I like about this machine. Some machines don't have this. To disable the needle, the move all the machine round a wee bit. There is a wheel at the end of the machine here that you just pull out like that. Excuse the Scottish bunting. Uh, there's been a lot going on in Scotland just now and I had a wee Scottish party at the weekend so I, that's not always up. Not really that weird. Uh, right, so pull this bobbin, this uh, wheel out and that disables your needle. Next thing you want to do is just turn your machine on. The on button is beside your power cable. 
at the side here. We light will go on. And then we're going to keep a nice wee tight hold of this thread coming up out the top of the bobbin. Even wrap it around your finger and hold it directly above the bobbin. What we don't want is for this thread to get wound in with everything else. So just put my foot in the pedal. And we'll start to wind. Once you've got a wee drop on there, you can stop and just snip that thread off that you're holding on to it really nice and close to the bobbin and then you can pop your foot in the pedal again and keep winding until you've got enough on there that'll do me for now normally if it's a black or white or cream i just fill the bobbin right up because i use them so much uh, but i won't do that today because we don't need to put too much on there so you want to then move the spindle back out of bobbin winding mode into sewing mode which will allow you to pull the bobbin off and then you just want to cut your threads anywhere and then we're going to go back up to the top of the machine here and again I'm just going to move the camera so our thread is still in this little metal bit here when you take our thread out that is just for winding the bobbin it's nothing to do with threading the actual machine and then we're going to follow the arrows and the numbers to thread it so number one is this arrow here we bring our thread around that little bit there then we're coming oh, stuck in there and we're coming down the front of the machine to two, which is telling us to go back up again. Now, up at three, three is telling us we want to be wind, like wrapping our thread around something. If you can't see anything sticking out the top of the machine here, you want to go to the wheel at the end of the machine again. Don't push it in, we want to keep it disabled, but wind it towards you until a hook pops out the top of the machine here. There we go. That is the hook that we want to to find. It's called your take-up lever. Very important part of the machine. Um, thread jumps out of this take-up lever quite often and that's when the machine makes a horrible, horrible noise. Generally, if you're sewing and your machine machine starts tuning things up, it's because your thread's jumped out of this wee take-up lever here. So that's a good thing to remember. So our thread is going round here. Pull it until it makes a wee clicking noise. And then down the front of the machine to four. Four is actually a tiny little hook above the needle. I'll just put this down here. So here is a wee hook just above the needle here. Just hooking your thread round. Keep your thread over to the right hand side here. And there's a wee bit for your finger. This is a needle threader. You pull it down, it puts a tiny hook through the eye of the needle, so tiny that the camera's definitely not going to see it, you just have to believe me it is there. And then you want to hook your thread round this little bit and then just under here, keep a wee hold of it, not too tight, gently let this go and letting the thread be pulled out of your hand as well. And then it pulls a wee hook, wee loop of thread, out the back of the needle and then you can just pull it like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our bobbin that we wound earlier. We're going to take this clear panel off here. There's a wee black groovy bit and if you pull that black groovy bit to the right, your panel pops off. Now there's a diagram on here that you want to be having a look at. I don't know why it's in white, it's really annoying, it should be in black but there we go. Um, it's telling us, most importantly, get yeah, focus. What direction our thread should be coming off the bobbin? So it's coming off in an anti-clockwise direction, and then it's hooking round something here, and then it's going out to the back. So that's that's what we're going to be doing right now. So taking your bobbin, thread coming off in an anti-clockwise direction, dropping it in. And then it hooks round the wee metal bit here. There's an arrow here as well to tell you what way you're going. And then you just pull it out to the back, like that. And then at this point you can pop your case back on, or you can do it at the, after the next step, but I'll just pop it on just now. So, 
pop that back on. Got a wee thread coming out the side of the, the clear case there. That's absolutely fine. So now what we're going to do, we're going to take our thread that's through our, our needle, our top thread. Keep a wee hold of it to the left hand side. And then we're going to go to that wheel again that we used to disable the needle. We're going to keep it disabled, but we're going to wind it towards ourselves until the needle goes down and then right back up once. Once your needle's back at the highest point, give the thread in your hand a wee pull and you'll see a loop. So you want to grab the loop and pull it until it is a thread, not a loop. And you'll see that the wee thread that was sticking out the side of the panel here is gone as well, and that's what you want. So these two threads now go in between the wee prongs in the foot and out to the back, and you are ready to sew.